Good morning, Daffy. Oh, good morning, Melissa. You're all done up like a Christmas tree today. Oh, I feel like it too. What did you say a minute ago when I put the tinsel on your walker? Oh, I forget. You said it's a lot of... <laughs> but yes. What's that? Busy. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't think I of it. I couldn't think you of could. another word. <laughs> uh, okay, so today we're just going to do um, a few quick questions that some of your followers have suggested or asked about. Yeah. So the first one. In World War II, mm -hmm. there were food coupons. Yeah. And what were the food coupons for? Uh, sugar, butter, tea. I'm not quite sure about bread, but they were used on a lot of things. And where I, did people pick the coupons up well, from? Well, this is it. I don't remember where they came from. I think they may have got them from the government. I'm not sure. Do you remember in Bandara where you had to go to get them? No. No. Was that your mum's responsibility? Yeah, it'd be the... See, I never had to get one. Yeah. Because I was too young. But so, mum and or dad would have got them. And you have said before that when you worked in Chapman's store, mm. people would hand the coupon over to you? Yeah. It was on a little card, I think. Or yep. Like a paper thing. Yep. And did the person keep the card? And you yeah. stamped it? Yeah. So you stamped it? I'm not sure about that either. It's such a long time ago. I know. <laughs> and then, do you know, um, would you, you, probably, you might not remember this, when did they stop using the coupons? Probably when the war finished. Yeah. That was in what year? 1939 it started. started. 1945. 45. Yeah, mm. so you would have been 17 then. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. At Christmas time, mm -hmm. we have talked about what you did on Christmas Day a few times. Yeah. Did your mum ever, did you ever have new clothes on Christmas Day? Oh, always had a new outfit at Christmas. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> when we were kids. Yep. Yeah. And what was it? A new dress. Yep. New socks. <laughs> we used to have the little white bobby socks. What are bobby socks? You know, the little short ones. Yep. And by the look on your face, mm -hmm. that's taken you right back to your childhood. Oh, God, yeah, I can remember that. So every Christmas, were you excited that you'd get a new outfit? Oh, God, yes, it was a big thing. We never got clothes like the kids today. Yep. Every week they're getting something new. True. Yeah. So did your mum make those dresses or did she buy them? No, they were bought by catalogue. Oh, yeah. how did that work? Mm? How did that work? Explain well, that. Well, we used to get a, a book, what they call the catalogue. Yep. And it had a picture of all the clothes. Yep. And then you'd write to I don't know where and, and put your order in. Right. Yeah. Did your mum let, ever let you pick out your outfit? Did she no. ever let you go through the catalogue and have a look? Oh, she never let us pick that out ourselves. She was the boss there. Did you ever look through the catalogue yourself? I can't remember whether I did or I didn't. I probably did. So every Christmas you yeah. got a new outfit? Yeah. You would have thought you were a million dollars. Oh, we did. Well, not like today. You would have every thought... Every day is Christmas. <laughs> To the children. You would have thought you were the bee's knees. Oh, God, yes. And you have spoken about this in another video, but a lot of people, this was one of your early videos, so a lot of people are new followers and they probably haven't gone back. 
-hmm. But explain again what your mum used to do with the flower bags. Uh, well, we used to get, I think it was a 25 pound of flour. Yep. Uh, and she would bleach them, boil them so the print came off. Yep. And she used to make sheets out of them. And those days, it sounds terrible, yeah. but in those days, people never had money like they had today. So they used everything that was there. Yes, of course. But she used to make something else. Oh, bloomers. <laughs> what are bloomers? Yes. Don't you know what bloomers are? I do, but some other people might not. They used to have elastic in the waist and the leg. So they're your undies? Undies, yeah. <laughs> were they uncomfortable? No, they were the same as today. Did your mum ever make... In fact, I think the ones today must be more uncomfortable. Why? Well, that little thing goes up the... Rearranged. <laughs> Must be uncomfortable. I was about to say, did your mum ever make flower bag G strings? <laughs> that did G string. <laughs> no, they weren't thought of. <laughs> so, Daffy, if I went and got a flower bag and I made you a pair of bloomers, would you wear them? <laughs> oh, for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine they would be very comfortable. Oh, they were. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I think they're more comfortable than things you wear today. You reckon G-strings are more comfortable? No, the old bloomers. Oh, the old bloomers, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we talked about the other day about biscuits. Mm -hmm. What were the biscuits that you used to get? Oh, Arnett's, of course. Yes, that's an old Australian oh, biscuit yes, company. yes. And how did they come? What what were they packaged in? Well, you could get them in a tin. Yep. Or you'd get them in loose. Yep. And they'd come to the shop and they might want, say, a, a kilo or a pound, half a pound or a pound of sayos or ice vovos. Yep. Did they have ice vovos oh, back yeah. then? Oh, yeah. Yes. They're still going strong. Yes. Mm. Wow. Oh, so God, sayos, yes. ice vovos. And and there are lots of others, but I can't think. Nice. N E I C E. Yeah. yeah, they're good. And our root biscuits. Oh, they would have been big back then. Yeah. What about Scotch finger biscuits? I don't know about Scotch finger. I can't remember them. Did you love it when you had biscuits at home? Oh, yes. Well, our mum used to do a lot of cooking. I asked you the other day about when your mum used to bake on Sundays. Mm. You never helped her, though? No. She said you weren't allowed in the kitchen? No. We used to have to do the washing up. Yep. <laughs> so you never stood with her and helped to bake or anything? No. No. And when you got, the, did you get the biscuits in a tin? Yes, she used to get them in a tin. And were any of the biscuits broken when you got them? That, well, they had them packed in, they weren't loose. Yeah. They were packed in, um, what will I say, a paper, light cardboard type oh, okay. of stuff. You yeah, know, oh, there might be an odd broken one. Okay. Now, have you, we didn't even discuss this beforehand, but have you got your wise words for Friday? What can you tell the people, or your followers, I should say? For Friday? Mm. Well, it's the end of the week. Yep. Enjoy yourself and be good people. Don't go and get drunk and fall over coming home. Well, what's wrong with that? As long as you don't <laughs> hurt anybody. Who'd want to do that? You might hurt yourself. <laughs> hey, but a drunk, if he's real drunk and he falls over, he never hurts himself. No. Because you know why? Why? 
because his body is relaxed. Are you speaking from experience? Oh, of course I am. <laughs> Daffy, you've never been drunk in your no, life. No, I haven't. No, I couldn't, couldn't fancy being drunk. So your Friday words are, have a good Friday, it's the end of the week. Yeah. Now, if they're not allowed to get drunk, are they allowed to get a little bit tipsy? Oh, well, if they wanted to, it was up to them themselves. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say on this Friday? No, nothing. Just have a good day. And it's a beautiful day. What are you going to get up to today? Oh, the usual thing. You put, yeah. You've put the washing on already? Yep, got that going and go out and have a look at the garden and talk to the dogs. Well, we had a special little visitor yesterday, didn't we? Who was that? Reggie's sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Reggie's sister came over for a little play date. <laughs> and he died last night. Well, no, he didn't die, literally. Oh, he was exhausted, man. He was that... He was that tired out. Yep. He crawled under um, the, the George's kennel. bed. Yep. And he didn't come out. He didn't, did he? No. He, he was out of it. Yeah. They had a good afternoon. In, oh, playing around the yard. And, and in the water dish. Yeah, yeah. Tipping water everywhere. <laughs> right. Rightio, Daffy. All right. Goodbye, everybody. And give us a Friday wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wink with two eyes. I don't go one eye. One more time. Give us a wink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Daffy. I can't wink with one eye. <laughs> oh, oh, I did. You did it. There yeah. you go. High five, Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, see you later. Yeah. Oh.